Every second McDonald sells 75 burgers, but the secret to its enormous success does not lie in the buns or smoked patties. It actually surrounds around that delicious mouth-watering cheese that not only completes the entire burger, but also sends you into the flavorful world of cheese from where you never want to come back. Once you pick it up, not even the end of the world will make you put it down. But one might wonder, who actually created the very first cheeseburger that fills our mouth with water whenever we hold it in our hand? Double, double cheese, cheeseburger, it's back. McDonald's double, double cheese, cheeseburger, it's back. And how it became so famous that it even forced the US government to present the cheeseburger bill in 2005 to protect companies like McDonald's from making people obese. Well, when it comes to claiming the invention of this legendary food, it's highly acceptable that many restaurants or fast food joints will try to steal its history to increase the sales of their business. There's something going down at McDonald's. The prices. However, to find out the one who actually invented it, let's rewind back to 1924 when 16 years old Lionel Sternberger, really, Sternberger, was working as a fry cook to support his father's sandwich shop, The Right Spot, in Pasadena, California. As Sternberger had to stand at one place to handle the deep fryer station of the restaurant, in a few months, he started getting bored by doing the same work over and over again. But if you look at the persistence chapter of the famous Think and Grow Rich book, it says that with experience comes invention. Surprisingly, the book was perfectly right because with Sternberger's experience of working as a fry cook inspired him to experiment with their current hamburgers. And when he decided to throw a slice of American cheese on a sizzling patty, the sensational cheeseburger was born. Soon, other food chains also joined their race to create their own cheeseburger. In 1928, Los Angeles restaurant Odell's became the first one to include an option of cheeseburger in their menu for just 25 cents. And in 1935, cheeseburger as a trademark was first awarded to Lewis Ballast of the Humpty Dumpty Drive-In in Denver, Colorado. It might sound funny that the one who invented it did not even care to claim his life-changing invention. But as time went on, we must be thankful to Sternberger for not only enhancing our taste through this mind-blowing food, but also making us realize how our life could be without the cheeseburger. To be more specific, take a look at this enormous line in Russia after McDonald's decided to shut down all 847 stores in the country due to the recent Russia-Ukraine war. Oof, that really sucks. Forget hold the pickles, hold the lettuce. Today these Russians wanted it all. 30,000 of them, twice what anyone expected, crammed through the gold golden arches before the day was done. Because I'm hungry. <laughs> Soviets are used to standing in long lines for just about anything. But for Big Macs and fries, it's a first. The early reviews were raves. I like it. You like it? Yeah. At least today, Muscovites were willing to... This was just a glimpse of the cheeseburger crisis because the situation became more astonishing when Russian citizens took advantage of this opportunity and started selling a single McDonald's cheeseburger online for an enormous 40,000 Russian ruble, which in US dollars stands around 660 bucks. While keeping in mind the situation that existed on the ground, many rich citizens would have bought it instead of waiting for days in line. Not to forget, have a look inside the fridge of a Russian citizen who managed to order more than double the entire McDonald's menu. If you're wondering which burger they were ordering, well, according to our research, Big Mac with double cheese has been ranked as the highest selling burger of this food giant. This also seems understandable, because when two slices of melted cheese with a double patty are squeezed inside a burger, spending $660 for it in Russia would seem normal. Because I'm hungry. <laughs> 
Moving back to America, the cheeseburger was already causing havoc since its launch. According to this 2004 article from CBS News, 15% of U.S. youngsters and around one-third of adults got obese after the rise of fast food restaurants in the country, and many blamed McDonald's for this issue. So right after you eat these meals, you have energy. But the energy lasts a very short period of time, and you're hungry much sooner. And then you have to eat again, and then you have to eat again, and then you have to eat again. To protect itself, McDonald's managed to convince the U.S. government to present the 2005 cheeseburger bill to protect them from taking any blame from the customer. However, the bill was never passed, and the ultimate authority remains in the hands of the citizens even today. Now, it should be noted that despite blaming McDonald's for making them obese, people never blamed cheeseburgers for ruining their life. As time went on, their love for this gifted food increased each day. For example, in 2012, Black Bear Casino in Minnesota created the largest cheeseburger ever made, which weighed around 914 kilograms. It had 27 kilograms of bacon, 23 kilograms of lettuce, 23 kilograms of sliced onions, 18 kilograms of pickles, and 18 kilograms of juicy cheese. We're going for the world record, biggest hamburger ever. We've got thousands of people on property. Now it's just the uh, condiments, tomato, lettuce, pickles, onion, but it's still gonna be edible. We are now finishing off the largest cheeseburger in the world. Moreover, Lionel Sternberger wouldn't have thought of the cheeseburger idea if the hamburger was not invented. Otherwise, we could have been stuck eating cheese alone, which of course tastes amazing, but incomplete without the hamburger. However, unlike Sternberger, the actual inventor of the hamburger, even today, remains a mystery. The term hamburger is derived from the second largest city in Germany called Hamburg. Surprisingly, there's no connection between the city and the burger that helps the creators to conclude this name, and its invention is connected to various people like Charlie Negreen, Oscar Weber Bilby, and Louise Lassen. But the hamburger originally became famous in the entire US when at the 1904 St. Louis World Fair, the New York Tribune referred to it as the innovation of a food vendor on the pike. The invention was well summed up in an ABC News article by stating, One problem is that there is little written history. Another issue is that the spread of the burger happened largely at the World's Fair, from tiny vendors that came and went in an instant. And it is entirely possible that more than one person came up with the idea at the same time in different parts of the country. Indy's got the burgers, Indy's got the fries, Indy's got the taste. Come on, give us a try. And now for a limited time only, try Indy's two burgers for only 99 cents. It's the great, great taste of our new 100% all pure beef flame boiled hamburger. Well, we're glad that the idea of the hamburger originated in different parts of the country because the creativity of different food vendors has resulted in a unique variety of burgers that changed our life. From red bun burgers in Croatia to miniature burgers to a giant steak burger with cheese and onion rings, the list goes on and on. So, this was the entire story of the heavenly cheeseburger that is even today managing to make our life better than before. Although it is true that it does consist of powerful calories, when it comes to deciding between a cheeseburger and a home-cooked meal, we all know which one to pick first. And if you're planning to have a cheeseburger party after watching this video, don't forget to invite me. Don't forget to celebrate it on September 18th, because that is when National Cheeseburger Day is celebrated in the United States every year. So, what did you think about the amazing cheeseburger? Do you think having cheeseburger makes us obese? Tell us in the comments section below. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to mention them in the comments section. 
But we will surely respond to your request after I order my favorite cheeseburger. Because after making this video, I will not be able to sleep today until I have one. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press that like button if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching Brain Eye.